Hey guys, this is video number three for this um, whole overcoming, wrapping up 2010 and overcoming the whole psycho diet mentality. Um, and this is kind of a big one for me, but what I realized that it was really important for me to do was to, you have to get to the point where you ignore the multiple, what's the word, the, the multiple opinions and experts out there. Um, and what I mean by this is, one of the biggest problems that I identified I was having, when you get into this blogosphere, right, and it's wonderful. I mean, I've met so many people. I don't think I'd be running. Uh, I wouldn't have met my best friend, Amy, if it wasn't for, for all of this and social media and Twitter and whatnot. But when you're, when you're blogging and you're meeting other people that are competing in figure uh, competitions, that are running marathons, that are just getting fit, whatever, um, you're gonna run into um, other opinions, people that have read other articles, done their own research, um, maybe they've come up with something that works for them. There's people that have a certain diet lifestyle, whether it's low carb or vegetarian or paleo, or um, they cut out sugar or whatever. You've got people that have a certain approach to fitness. Um, I only do circuit, you know, not me. This, these are people that will say, you know, they're only believers in circuit kind of training, where you mix it up. Then there's people like figure competitors that will train you. Still getting used to my hair, sorry. <laughs> um, they only believe in isolation training and cardio separate. There's people on cardio, I've done posts about this, that believe in early morning cardio, empty stomach only. Then there's people who say you got to fuel for your run. Then there's people that will say you, can, you can't do um, low intensity cardio, that's a waste of time. Then there's people who will say you only do high intensity cardio. Then there's people who will say you got to mix it all up. There are so many differing opinions out there, you guys, and if you make the mistake that I did, you will give credence to every single one. That's not the mistake because I think there's something to be said for listening and reading and learning all the time. But at the end of the day, and that's such an overused cliche, but I do use it all the time, you've got to get to the point where you figure out fitness and getting healthy is about doing what you like. You've got to find something that you enjoy. For me, I've discovered running this year and I love it. I'm not doing it because I want to fit in with other bloggers, and that's what I did with figure comp competing. I always say figure competition and competing together, and it turns out like a funny word. But um, when I first saw the blogger friends of mine that were competing in figure, I jumped in because I thought I should, and that was stupid, because I have such mad admiration for people that compete going to those shows and seeing what women, you know, and, and having an appreciation too for bodybuilders. You know, I used to look at pictures of bodybuilders and laugh and you, know, you see them up on stage and they're posing and, and all of these veins are popping and you're like, that's crazy. But when you get there and you, you understand what goes into it and what they're being judged on and the fact that it is, this is a sport. This is not just guys that want to get up and look big. Um, there's such an appreciation I have for that, and there's such a, a admiration that I have for figure com competitors. That's not what I meant to say. Competitors. I just said computers. <laughs> um, figure competitors. Um, love what they do. It's not for me. And I finally came to that. But you, you have to be able to decide what you're going to do, how you're going to eat, based on what works for you. Um, some of us are going to make choices that aren't necessarily right or not effective, but you've got to learn what's effective on your own. And then get to the point where you've tweaked it and you figure out what you like, what you enjoy, what you can live with, and realize that somewhere along the line, more people, whether it's an article in a magazine that you read, another blogger, another book, someone is going to come along and say, I'm doing this, or oh, you really should do this and be prepared to say, hey, that's cool, I'll look into it, but stick with what you know. And for me, when I realize that I'm always gonna hear new things, I can't constantly panic and think, oh God, you know, I'm not doing this. Oh God, I still have two Splendas in my coffee, that's probably gonna ruin it, because look at what this person's doing, and they don't have Splenda at all, and they're not drinking anything at all, so it must be the fact that I'm having two Splendas in my coffee that's keeping me from losing that last five pounds. No. What's keeping you from losing those last five pounds more often is stress, not sticking with what you're doing and just being consistent and continuing to go and just living it and, and trusting your gut. So that's kind of what I came to figure out this year was I, 
I can't please everybody all the time. There's a billion opinions out there, okay? It doesn't mean that they're wrong. If you choose to not follow a certain diet, or say you're following like a, a paleo diet, okay? This is something I've been doing a lot of reading on. If you choose to adopt nine out of 10 of those principles, and it's working for you, and you might meet somebody that's like, well, I don't understand. You're saying you're paleo, but you're not really paleo because you had white rice one day or whatever. Say, this is what works for me. Get used to saying that. This is what works for me, and so hey, I respect what you're doing, but this is what works for me. And when you realize that, and you can kind of own it, as my friend Amy would say, you know, own what works for you, and stop listening to the chatter. It doesn't mean you can't learn from it, but accept that there are always gonna be differing opinions and differing ideas, and you've gotta trust what's inside. And that was a huge help for me, and I certainly hope it's a help for you guys, because especially if you're reading, if you're, if you're watching my video, then you're in this space. You're in this space of people on YouTube, um, people on the social networks, people on, on the blogosphere, whatever, that are going to interact with you and have different opinions, and you've got to be able to say, I'm going to make my own decisions, I'm going to listen, but I'm not going to panic and freak out when I hear something that contradicts what I'm doing and what I know is right for me. So, that said, trust yourself.